Quebec Liberal MP and Cabinet Minister Marie-Claude Bibeau there weighing in on a decision from the provincial government in Quebec to double tuition, almost double tuition, for out-of-province students as of next fall. Premier Francois Legault insists the measure is not meant as an attack on Anglophones, but rather intended to curb the decline of the French language in La Belle Province. But the president of Bishop's University says the impact of the policy decision will be, quote, catastrophic. Let's bring in the front bench to talk about the politics behind the policy and reaction to it. Brian Gallant, Lisa Wright, Tom Mulcair, and Rob Benzi are with me. Tom, you wrote a great piece for uh, CTV News' website. Uh, I want to start with you. What do you think is motivating this? I know the Premier says it's not about Anglophones, it's about protecting the French language. What, in your view, is motivating the, tr the decision? Well, that's his English version, uh, but actually his French version is the exact opposite. He says that people are hearing too much English in the streets of Montreal. It's leading to an Anglicization, having this many English students. And his minister in charge, her name is Pascal Derry, she said the purpose is to reduce the size of these English universities. That's what they're on the record as saying. So they're trying to blow hot and cold over this because, as usual, when they attack minorities and they get caught, as with their law against Muslim women, uh, which is called Bill 21, it particularly targets Muslim women, goes against all religious minorities that use external signs. This is what Legault's been about. And, of course, attacking minorities is a sign of a very weak politician. Legault's in a lot of trouble. The Palti Québécois thumped him in a by-election in Quebec City about a fortnight ago. And he's been smarting from it ever since. And he came up with this thing, and it was made up out of whole cloth. It came out of left field. And they, they were only, the universities were barely given a couple of days to know about it. McGill immediately suspended a $50 million program it had put in place. It had budgeted $50 million bucks over the next five years to promote the use of French amongst its students and in the area. And, of course, they put that in abeyance immediately. So this is Francois Legault being Francois Legault. When he gets called on it, he says, no, 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 it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with protecting French. But there's not a single study, not one, pointing to the fact that these English universities somehow lead to a, a diminution, a, a decrease in the use of French in Greater Montreal. A, in fact, Bashi, it's worth bearing in mind that right now, according to the most recent statistics, and this is a fact, demographic fact, 95% of the people in the Greater Montreal area can today hold a conversation in French. That number has never been higher. But it's taken as an article of faith that French is in dire straits in Montreal, and we've got to do things like this, like attacking the institutions of the English-speaking community of Quebec. It's, it's shameful, and yet that's where we are. Tom alluded to the reaction from uh, Rob, some of the, uni I mean, the universities, Concordia, Bishops, uh, McGill. I interviewed the principal of uh, the vice chancellor of uh, bishops today. He was one who calling it catastrophic. He's saying a third of their students, for example, are from out of province. He doesn't think any of them, very few of them, would be able to afford a, a doubling of tuition. Do you think the blowback, the magnitude of the reaction will force a rethink for the provincial government? It doesn't really, it's not really Legault's style. Do you, do you think in this instance that could change? I, I hope so, Vashi. In full disclosure, I, I went to grad school in Montreal. I went to Concordia uh, for journalism and I, I, I really loved the, the program there and I got a lot out of it. Now, would I have gone there if the fees were twice as expensive as they were? Probably not. I would have stayed in Toronto or gone to Ottawa or something like that. I just, and I think it's a really myopic thing for Legault to do. Montreal is a global city. It is a, a, such a cosmopolitan in place and to turn your back on students from uh, the rest of Canada which is what you're doing uh, is is appalling and, and and what I wonder is isn't there a risk that this hurts uh, you know that there's you know that Ontario or other provinces say you know what we're gonna charge more for students from Quebec I mean I may and maybe Legault would like that because if he's want to be it wants to be insular but uh, I, I think it's insane and uh, it's populist politics and Tom's exactly right this is a response to his own problems uh, politically. Uh, I mean, McGill and Concordia and Bishops are not the causing any decline of English in Quebec. As, as Tom makes the point, French has never been stronger French. in Quebec. French, yes. <laughs> So, so the answer Rob just gave, Brian, is not akin to any answer we've received from a federal politician in, in the days since, uh, of any party stripes, in the days since this uh, decision was announced. Uh, those politicians, for example, Minister Bibo today, are stopped by reporters on their way in. They certainly aren't volunteering their comment too freely, maybe outside of Anthony Housefather, uh, who has done a number of interviews on it. What is your assessment of why that may be the case? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I obviously can't speak for them. I'm guessing that there's a bit of a of an issue of kind of diving into something that they would 
sort of uh, classify as provincial jurisdiction. That's obviously always a hot button in, in Canada, even more so in Quebec. Uh, maybe some of them are uh, worried to sort of dive into sort of what is perceived as a language debate. But, but I mean, to me, I, I think they could be more forceful. I mean, I, I couldn't agree more with Tom and, and Rob. I think Legault often finds himself tackling problems that nobody actually raised as a problem. Right. Like nobody has, was talking about this as some big issue that had to be addressed. Yet it kind of pops out of nowhere. I, and like Rob, I mean, we all have family and friends that have gone to Quebec and New Brunswick. Many people go. I went to McGill. My niece went to Bishops. My brother-in-law went to New York City, New Brunswick with its proximity, with being a bilingual province as well. There's just so many reasons as to why people would like to go experience Quebec. Uh, and what I find really unfortunate, it's under the veil of sort of the protection of the French language. Uh, Quebec has a role and, and a massive role to play in protecting French in Canada. And, and there are people that want to go study in Quebec from our country that want to be immersed in French, that want to study in French, that want to go to a cafe and speak French. Uh, and it's the practice, it's to get better, it's to sort of see the culture. That's a beautiful thing. People that want to do that should be encouraged to do so, not sort of have this message sent to, sent to them. Uh, and that's a wonderful way for Quebec and obviously other provinces that have important Francophone communities to be able to play a role in, in spreading the culture and spreading the French language across the country. So I, I just think it's very short-sighted uh, in many ways, including uh, the universities that will suffer that contribute so much to the province, the regions and the country. I'll circle back, though, to my original part of the question, Lisa, which is around the lack of these types of answers from federal politicians. And it's not the first instance in which that's been the case. I think of Bill 96 as well, which was also very much geared at the, at the language debate and protecting French rights. And there were some comments eventually about it, but most of them were directed around the invocation of the notwithstanding clause, not, not necessarily the substance of the law, maybe save for and accept Marc Garneau on his way out. <laughs> uh, why do you think that is? I think it's about votes, Fashi. I mean, I think it's about any party understanding and knowing that Quebec is the battleground, that you don't win or, uh, or you definitely lose without having supporting Quebec. And I think people are just trying to read the room at the moment. Uh, one of the truisms is the size of the tuition check uh, really does impact a decision for a student to go to that university. So it's going to have an impact. And the other part of this of this policy, which I find interesting, it's not like the university gets to keep that extra money. It actually goes back. Part of it goes back to the province of Quebec, and then they go ahead and redistribute it to other universities at the same time. So it's not like there's going to be uh, a lot of ability for these universities to take that extra money and put it back for example, into scholarships, grants, and bursaries to try to keep it at a level so people can come. No, the money is actually sucked right out of the university and given to others. So it's I don't see any way around for them unless there's a whole back uh, backpedal on, on this policy. Tom, last word to you. Do you have any sense as to whether Legault might change course or whether he underestimated the reaction? I even, like, I was in Calgary last week at a forum and so many of the questions were about this, maybe more than any other uh, policy right now in the country uh, on my radio show. It's by far and away the biggest issue right now for callers and texters. Like, they're very invested in this. There's a ton of reaction. Do you think Legault underestimated that? I think he totally underestimated and I think that's a key question. You know, Montreal along with Boston is considered the, the most important university city in North America and that could be lost and that's why there was a very strong message from Montreal Mayor Valerie Plant yeah. saying, hey, this could affect the economy of the greater Montreal area, which is of course the lifeblood of the Quebec economy. Now Legault is supposed to be all about the economy, so if you can't get him on just simply respecting other people's rights, maybe we could talk to him about the economy. So this is something that is starting starting to hurt them. Senior commentators in Quebec, some of the most senior commentators on the French side, have come out really strongly against this proposal by Legault. He was not expecting that sort of blowback. To say nothing about senior commentators who also work in English Canada, think of someone like Chantal Lebert or somebody who works a fair bit in Quebec but, and outside like Paul Wells, just really strongly against this thing. So I think that Legault is starting to take the measure of it. He reacted to something that had happened to him politically. He thought this would help him buy some credibility vis-a-vis -vis the Parti Québécois, which is resurgent right now. And he thought that he had to shore up his uh, nationalist flank, but he did it so badly uh, that it's hurting Quebec and it's hurting Montreal. So I think there is a real chance that he'll have to back away from some part of it. Okay, we shall see. Thanks so much, everyone, for a great discussion. Really appreciate it. Brian Gallant, Lisa Raitt, Tom Mulcair, and Rob Benzie.